So in the last class we were discussing on the reducible and the irreducible representations. So we took C2V point group as an example. We saw the reducible representation of the C2V point group. And uh, then we also saw the irreducible representation of C2V point group. Okay, this is the irreducible representations, uh, rep representation of the C2V point group. We can see that uh, we have uh, uh, three irreducible uh, three irreducible representation that is uh, uh, 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 for e c2 z sigma x z and sigma y z respectively okay and we saw that these irreducible representation representation are also uh, obey all the multiplication rules that we can get from the group multiplication table of the C2V point group. Okay, and this was what we learned in the previous class. And now we are continuing our discussion on the reducible and irreducible representation, uh, taking an example of uh, C3V point group. Taking the example of C3V point group. C3V point group. C3V point group. Okay. So, we take C3V point group as, uh, to, uh, as the example to, uh, to learn the reducible and uh, irreducible representations. And we know that in C2V point group, we have uh, six elements, which are these six elements, E, then uh, C3, then C3 square, then sigma dash, sigma double dash, and sigma triple dash okay these are the elements of the c3v point group and we already know what is e e is equal to identity and therefore this is the matrix corresponding to identity 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay this corresponds to the identity and what about c3 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 is uh, we already know how to construct the matrix for C3. Um, I have already taken one uh, class on this one. You can go back to my pre previous lectures and see how to uh, how to construct the uh, matrix for the C3 operation. Okay, I have already posted a video for the matrix representation of symmetry operations. There I have discussed how we can construct this matrix. So the C3 matrix is minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, then minus root 3 by 2, then 0, okay, and the next uh, row is uh, root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2, then minus 1 by 2, okay, and uh, uh, 0, then uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, so this is the C3, C3 matrix. And what about C3 square? That also I had discussed there, C3 square also. C3 square is the, the, the that is the rotation corresponding 240 degree, right? And therefore, we can construct the matrix like minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, root 3 by 2, then 0, then minus root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2, then uh, minus 1 by 2, okay, then 0, then 0, 0, 1, okay, 0, 0, 1. So, that also we know. So, now we have E, C3 and C3 square. And uh, now we have to write, uh, write the uh, matrices for the sigma dash, sigma double dash and sigma triple dash. So, for that, let us take sigma dash is equal to sigma x is such, sigma s is such, okay. So, we already know the matrix for sigma x is such, therefore, sigma dash is equal to uh, 1, 1, uh, 0, 0, okay, then 0, minus 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1, okay. This is sigma dash. We set a sigma dash as the sigma x is such play, okay. 
and based on this one now we can construct the matrix for sigma double dash and sigma triple dash okay so the matrix for sigma double dash sigma double dash is sigma double dash is c3 in the sigma dash c3 sigma dash this you can find from the group multiplication table okay so in order to get the uh, matrix for sigma double dash i am going to multiply c3 with the sigma dash and c3 already is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 is 0 then uh, root 3 by 2 then minus 1 by 2 uh, 0 then 0 0 1 okay that is a c3 okay and uh, uh, now i have to multiply this with uh, sigma dash sigma dash is 1 0 0 then 0 minus 1 0 0 0 1 okay so when i am multiplying these two matrices i get okay uh, the first row into first column okay that will give the first element in the resultant matrix okay that is minus 1 by 2 into 1 plus uh, minus root 3 by 2 into 0 and the 0 into 0 so that is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 then the next element is first row multiplied with the second uh, column okay so that is uh, minus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 then first row multiplied with the uh, third column that is uh, 0 okay and uh, now second row multiplied with the first column okay that is uh, uh, root 3 by 2 3 by 2 then second column uh, the second row multiplied with the second column okay that is uh, uh, 1 by 2 because minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 that is equal to 1 by 2 and the second row multiplied with the third column and that is uh, 0 okay and you can get the uh, other row by multiplying the third row with the first column second column and the third column then we get 0 0 1 0 0 1 okay so this is the matrix corresponding to sigma double dash this is sigma double dash and in the same way we can find out a sigma triple dash also because sigma triple dash is equal to uh, c3 square into sigma dash c3 square into sigma dash and c3 square that is equal to c3 square is minus 1 by 2 then uh, root 3 by 2 then 0 okay then minus uh, root 3 divided by 2 then minus 1 by 2 then uh, 0 and 0 0 1 0 0 1 so that is c3 square into sigma dash sigma dash is 1 0 0 then 0 minus 1 0 and 0 0 1 okay so multiplication of this matrix these two matrices give another matrix that is minus 1 by 2 then minus root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 and 0 and minus root 3 by 2 3 by 2 then 1 by 2 and 0 then 0 0 1 so we have the matrix for sigma triple dash also okay so all these matrices together con together constitute the reducible representation of the c3b point group so what is the reducible representation of the c3b point group a reducible a reducible representation of a c3b point group point group that is e is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay that is e now c3 is c3 c3 is the matrix minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 then minus root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 then 0 okay then root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 
minus 1 by 2 and 0 then 0 0 1 okay that is c3 then the next uh, element is z3 square okay that is c3 square is minus 1 by 2 okay then root 3 by 2 then 0 then minus root 3 by 2 then minus 1 by 2 0 then 0 0 1 okay so that is c3 square now sigma dash sigma dash is 1 0 0 0 0 then 0 minus 1 0 then 0 0 1 that is sigma dash and now sigma double dash that is equal to sigma double dash is minus 1 by 2 and then uh, root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 then 0 then root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 uh, 1 by 2 1 by 2 then 0 okay then 0 0 1 okay 0 0 1 and the last one is sigma triple dash and that is equal to sigma triple dash is minus 1 by 2 then minus root 3 by 2 then 0 then minus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 1 by 2 0 then 0 0 1 okay so this is sigma triple dash so this is the reducible representation for the c3v point group reducible representation why it is reducible because these matrices can be block factored again right this can be block factored again but here you should you should be very careful while block factorizing these matrices okay the rule is that you have to block factorize all the matrices in a representation in the same fashion because we have uh, we have six matrices here in this representation for the c3b point group and we have to block factorize this in the same fashion actually if you want if you want to block factorize this one you can block factorize like this right you can block factorize uh, like this like this you can block factorize but the problem is that when you come here you cannot do the same thing here because if you do like this some non zero elements will be out of the box right so that is not possible so this kind of a block factorization is not possible okay so it is not allowed so when you block factorize you must be very careful that uh, the, the 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 block factorization should, should be in the same fashion in all the matrices so the only possibility is that we have to block factorize it like this okay so we have a 2 by 2 matrix here and a 1 by 1 matrix here so this is the possible way of block factorization here also that is a possible way of block factorization okay what about here here also this is only possible way of block factorization here also that is the only possible way since we are doing this here we have to do in the same way in other matrices also so this should be done in this way okay and uh, this one also should be done in the same way okay so all the matrices should be block factorized in the same fashion okay so after this block factorization we have uh, the irreducible representations since this is not reducible further so we can take it as an irreducible representation which is a 2 by 2 matrix and this one these ones are also a reducible representation this is 1 by 1 by 1 matrices so we have two irreducible representation the first the first irreducible representation first irreducible representation first ir and the first ir constitutes the 2 by 2 matrices or two dimensional matrices right two dimensional matrices first ir constitutes two dimensional matrices what are these two dimensional matrices uh, okay these are 1 0 0 1 okay this is from here and the next one is minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 then root 3 by 2 then minus 1 by 2 okay this one and from from c3 square we have 
minus 1 by 2 root 3 by 2 then minus root 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 okay then we have from sigma dash 1 0 0 minus 1 okay then we have minus 1 by 2 uh, root 3 by 2 then uh, root 3 by 2 1 by 2 okay and then we have minus 1 by 2 uh, minus root 3 by 2 then minus root 3 by 2 then 1 by 2 okay so these are the 2 by 2 matrices or 2 dimensional matrices this is the first irreducible representation uh, we have obtained from the block factorization of the 3 dimensional matrix okay and the second irreducible representation second second irreducible representation second irreducible representation is a one dimensional representation that is one dimensional okay which are they that is matrix 1 then again 1 then again 1 then 1 then 1 and again 1 okay this is the uh, second uh, one dimensional uh, representation okay so now <coughs> we have uh, two irreducible representations here okay and uh, the first irreducible representation is a two dimensional representation and the second irreducible representation is a one dimensional representation okay and uh, i i showed you this uh, uh, this example to, to 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 make you understand that the block factorization should be done in the same fashion in all the matrices okay that is a very important requirement when you are constructing the irreducible representations okay and uh, that's all so i hope you understood what is re what are reducible and irreducible representation from this example also so we already discussed this in detail in the previous class and in this class we are just taking one more example that is the c3b point group okay and uh, these irreducible representations are very important for us and uh, and we will learn this in the in the in the classes which are going to come okay so i thank you for watching and stay tuned